Hi, I'm Mike with the Sanders Kitchen. Today, happy Easter, by the way. Today, we're over here at my brother-in-law's house. We are doing crawfish today. Ross is the professional here. He knows how to make it happen. And I can't wait for you guys to come in and see how we're doing this, all right? Now, Ross is the, the guy doing all of this, and we, I'm, just, I'm just a professional eater today. So, come on in, Ross. Say hi. Hey, happy Easter, all. This is Pam's brother, Ross, and every year for Easter, Ross does crawfish. Now, he's got a fantastic recipe. We're going to show it to you, I think, right? Yes. Yes, we'll do the recipe. Oh, he's we'll going to share the we'll recipe. The recipe. We'll recipe. So, we're a little bit behind schedule. He's already got the first batch on the table, but he's got a real special batch coming up. I can't wait to show you what's going to happen. And uh, so... How long have you been boiling crawfish? Probably about 20 years. And you know, we got all these recipes that like, uh, see what you do, they just come down through the family. Mine goes back to four different guys and it's actually one of my friends. I've been friends with him for 25 years. It's his dad's recipe. And his dad, bless his soul, died maybe about 15 years ago. But probably I boil using his recipe and I probably got at least a dozen friends who are boiling using the same recipe. But have you tweaked it at all? None. Same recipe for the last 20 years, but I'm going to tell you something. I've been eating those crawfish for the last 20 years, and today they're better than they ever have been. I don't know what he did different, but they're really good. So come on, let's go over to the pot and show you how he's doing this, okay? Come on, let's go. Man, look at that, Ross. That's a big pot. It's a big pot, and that stuff will clear your sinuses. Trust how me. do you know how much water to put in there? Uh, if you look, give them a shot of the pot, because honestly, I've been boiling so long, that pot has a natural line that's cut into it that if you dump all that water out, you will see a line right there. I so it's, see that so what line. is that, maybe about five, six? So you have got this down to a science. Yep, yep. That's great. So what's going to happen? Uh, well, let's go with from this. Let's go from the beginning. What did you do to start that first crawfish boil? So we, we go ahead and we fill the pot with the water. And initially we go ahead and we put that propane up. I mean, all the way, we get that thing to a boil. Then we're going to come over here to the strainer pot. And initially we just put our garlic we put our potatoes and we put our onions and for let's say maybe a 33 35 pound sack of crawfish we're going to go with maybe eight to ten uh onions about eight to ten full things of garlic and maybe just a bag of the little small white potatoes when this water comes to a boil you're going to take the potatoes the garlic and the onions and you're going to stick it in that boil and you're going to let it boil for about five minutes wow I normally use my phone, and like I told Mike earlier, I do not deviate from the recipe at all. It's tried and true. So I boil the potatoes, the onions, and the garlic for five minutes. Then at the five minute mark, I add some carrots, maybe just a small bag of carrots. I add one package of celery, and then I go ahead and I let that boil with the others for maybe about four to five more minutes. So at that point, you're about the nine minute mark. At that point, I shut off the fire. I pull the strainer pot out, put that on the side. And at that point, we're gonna add the spices to the water. So that's one thing I should have started with. In this picture, you can see the water's all red because we already boiled. But when I do that initial 10 minutes to get the vegetables soft, um, we don't have anything in the water yet. So we pull everything out, we let it sit, and we go ahead and add, let's come to the spice table, Mike. We're gonna do a full Zatarain's 4.5 pound powder. We are gonna do a full Zatarain's 16 fluid ounce. And we're gonna do a full 7.25 of cayenne. And if you want them a little spicier, the boil I just did, I also did about another third of this kind. Nice. You're going to add that to the water. Then you're going to do about nine of these nice lemons. You're going to cut them in half. 
you squeeze the lemon juice into the water and then put the leftover lemon carcasses into the strainer pot. You're gonna bring the water to a full boil mm -hmm. with all those spices in it. And then once the water comes to a full boil, you in the meantime will have, if you look over by that fence. So right here, these are the guests to our feast. And what I do, and y'all guys know y'all can go to Walmart or any, anywhere else and buy one of these. That's really a laundry hamper. But you get one of these and they make a perfect straining pot for the crawfish. So when you originally bring them home from the market, you're going to dump them in here. This is a 33 pound sack as you're looking at them. And you can dump them in. And then you go ahead and you rinse them good to get the dirt off of them. So we talked about before, that water should now have come to a boil again with all the spices in it. You're gonna take the crawfish here, you're gonna dump them into the strainer pot that right now just has, I'll summarize, remember it's got the potatoes, the onions, the garlic, the celery, and the carrots. You're gonna dump the crawfish on top and then you're gonna submerge them into the boiling water. Now what'll happen naturally is when you put them into the water, it's no longer boiling. You put your top on top and you kind of wait for the water to come to a boil again. And the way you'll know that, the easiest thing is you can be walking around doing whatever. When smoke starts come shooting out of the top again, you're gonna lift the lid and what you'll notice is all the crawfish will have risen to the top. It's, it's when you see it, you're gonna know. Like the minute it starts boiling again, all the crawfish will rise to the top you're gonna shut off the power, the propane, and then you're gonna let those guys soak for about 45 minutes. Now the one thing when you go to soak, now for the soak, you're gonna add sausage. So you can put any kind of sausage you like. Typically, I go with the mild because there's enough spice in the water anyway. So you let put some sausage. We like Brussels sprouts, we'll put that in there. Uh, oh, and people like uh, mushrooms. You put the mushrooms in, and you'll use something like this to push them back, push them down because they want to like float on top. And you'll put that down and then you'll put the lid on. You let them soak for about 45 minutes. After that, they're good to go. You pull them out and by the way, I'll just go through because brother-in-law Mike would always tell me on the way, oh, I heard about putting ice on them. Everybody's got a different technique that they do at the end. And I'm not saying any of those are wrong, but Mr. Vic Schmidt from New Orleans East who gave me this recipe 20 years ago. This is the way he did them. I've never had anybody complain about, oh, they're too hard to peel or anything else. I don't like the ice on them because every now and then, like that might have some benefits, but um, I don't want cold water on the heads when you're sucking them like Right. So um, this seems to work good. After 45 minutes, you lift your strainer out, put it on kind of the ledge of the pot, so it can drain out and then you pull them on the table and hopefully you got happy faces and people with sinus issues after they eat your stuff. So you had a paper in your hand a little while ago yep. and that was your recipe, right? Yep. So would you mind if I posted that? No. Okay, so that recipe will be posted in the description. Yep. And there's my little grandson Monroe coming in. Hello. Hey, Hello man. Monroe. How you doing buddy? Happy Welcome Easter. All right. See our friends. We're gonna we're gonna eat them for lunch later. Are those alive? All yeah. right. Are they alive? Look at that. Oh, uh -uh, he don't want you. that. I just wanted to show you. So yeah, he's alive right now. <laughs> well, later when we put him in the bowl in water, he won't be alive anymore. We'll eat him. Look, All right. Look at Jeff. Yeah. Look at Jeff. We getting ready to fire up another batch, right? I think that's what we're doing. You just All right. that's what we're yes. doing. Okay. That's the why would you wear a white shirt on a day like today? Well, because I wanted to wear my blue shorts. So. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about wearing an, hey, you know, go, go, something. Go show your dad the crawfish. Said, ah, crawfish. You know, I'll, hey, I'll buddy. Have to wash it and get it out. How are you? Come on. Um, what are we how doing? Surprise. Hey, Bean, what are you doing? Washing the crawfish. Man, look at that. Nice. All right. Come on, right? Are we getting ready for the next batch? 
Yeah, yeah. so so yeah. the water's been Please. sitting while everybody's been eating the first boil. So the water's still kind of warm, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to restart it up. So Nice. Tell me when you got flame, Peyton. Got it. So what we're going to do, I'm still chopping on this. 
We're gonna put the potatoes, the garlic, and the onions in there. We'll let them boil for about five minutes. Then after that, we're gonna add some celery, like maybe just a single, you know, big stalk of celery, and maybe about a bag of carrots. We'll throw that in there. So we're gonna do, because the potatoes and the onions and the garlic are the most dense, we'll do those for five minutes. Then after five minutes, we'll add the carrots and the celery and let those cook together for about another five minutes. Nice. celery out of the boil. I think that's just in there for season. I never eat it. It comes out kind of soft and stringy. So who eats that? So I just cut them in half. Some people might cut them smaller. I don't do that. Now when I get to the carrots, I cut the carrots in thirds because I think people do eat the carrots and it just gets to be how much do you want. So if you cut them in thirds, it just makes it a little easier for the people eating them. Right. The, the carrots, when they come out of the boil, look like a witch's finger. A witch's, <laughs> a witch's finger. finger. Yeah. <laughs> Did she eat any of them? Yeah, she ate them. Did she pick it up and shook it at me? She says, this looks like a wicked witch's finger. Veggies, <laughs> so carrots, and celery. So, so, so the vegetables have been boiling. Like we said again, the onions, the potatoes, the corn went five minutes. We had the carrots and celery for another five minutes, so ten minutes total. After that's done, and you can see it's still boiling, you got the smoke coming out. Now we're gonna shut off everything. Okay. Ooh, it got quiet now. Yeah, so we shut off everything. What we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out the strainer pot with the vegetables. And we're gonna doctor up this water for the next boil. Mm -hmm. so you can see right there. Mike, if you can show in there, you can see, you know, everything's starting to probably get kind of soft. Oh yeah. You know, starting to get soft. Looks good. And we'll put that out. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna doctor up the water again. So this time on the second boil, we're only gonna go with a half of this because otherwise you're gonna be making it too hot. Because remember, that's the residue water from the first boil. So we just went about half of the cayenne. Ooh, man, that's, I can smell it. Then we're gonna go, same thing, the Zatarain's powder. Mm. We're gonna go half of that. more okay that's good that looks good oh that smells good then we're gonna go to liquid we're gonna go half of that that's about good i love that accurate uh measurement <laughs> yeah yeah now here's the special special Ooh, that ingredients potent. for the second we're gonna go with the mesquites Liquid smoke. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So that's pretty unique. That stuff. I never heard of smoky crawfish. But we fix it. And then up. we're gonna do two of these. And that's uh, two pounds dark brown sugar. You can go, this is a uh, best choice from Rouse's. Or the brand probably doesn't matter, whatever you can find. Do 
do one more of those. Ooh, man. It smells too smells, bad we don't have smell of vision. Smells sweet and hot at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, you know, we've taken everything out. We kind of respiced up the water. So we're going to go ahead and start the fire up again bring it to a boil and then once it's boiling we're going to add the crawfish to the strainer and we're going to submerse it all right still right now when the water comes back up to a boil you'll get smoke out the sides again and you're gonna lift the lid and I'll show you when you know they're ready all the crawfish just float up to the top and it's the first couple of boils you do you're not sure like are they ready or not but once you see what they look like when they're ready it's unmistakable I mean they, they, they float to the top like that they're ready to say hey you know time to eat nice <laughs> say, Addy Grace, say, uh, what we say at church today, Addy Grace, say, Amen. smoke was coming out of the top, so we're going to lift the lid and see. All right, you can see those guys are visibly risen, risen to the top. You want to turn the fire off now so they don't overcook. So let's All go right. ahead and turn off that burner real quick. Okay, so the fire's off. What we're going to do now, we're going to go grab some pineapple, Brussels sprouts, and sausage Man. and we're going to throw that in there with some mushrooms and we're going to push it down and we're going to let them soak for 45 minutes nice so we're adding pineapple to this batch oh along, here you go with the mushrooms. oh that's where you're putting it right there there you go so that that's going to soak oh, up that's going to that's going to soak up the pepper and the and the uh the black the brown sugar so that's mm. be just cutting them in half right that's it yeah that stuff's already cut so um Cut them in half, make sure everybody gets, gets a chance to try it. There you go.
babies are ready to come up. Let me take a look, man. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. This should be good. Just draining, right? Yeah, we're gonna let them drain. I want all the liquids out, then we can go dump on the table. We'll actually set it up on the table. Coming through! Alright, Miss Falls, these are all for you. You can just dig in there. <laughs> Hey, I've seen people put a spiral cut hay on. Look at Pam, there's Pam. Wait, that's one of them boiled sweet potatoes. Look at that. Oh man. Nice and soft, creamy. Let me get a taste of that. Mmm. Mm. The pineapple's mm. really good. Mm. Man, is that good? That's good stuff. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at all the little beautiful crawfish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey okay. guys, y'all got to come see this, man. Ross did a magnificent job boiling these crawfish. I've never seen anybody put liquid smoke and pineapple and brown sugar, but I got to tell you, it's fabulous. So if you're looking at this video, and you haven't tried that give it a try you won't go wrong okay you won't go wrong you won't you can't say oh i wasted my money on and, and i ruined my crawfish no 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 these crawfish are awesome they're pretty dang good mm. and they're good size too mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. wow <clears throat> Well, Ross, thank you so much for showing everybody how to boil crawfish two different ways. All the seasonings, the recipe is going to be posted on the description. Hey, if you like our video on how to boil crawfish, I'm sorry, <clears throat> a little seasoning got to me. But if you like that video on boiling crawfish, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the Sanders Kitchen, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when we come out with all the new videos. Again, Ross, thank you so much. And as we always say at the end of the video, God bless you. Enjoy.